With all the new gurus on social media talking about e-commerce, it makes it impossible to find the right information. And ultimately, the easiest thing you do is convince yourself that the business model is too dead, too competitive, or too saturated, and you don't even give it a fair shot for a month. So that is exactly why I've created this video right here. To break down an easy step-by-step -step guide that cuts out 100% of the bullshit and allows you to take your first few steps into this exciting new world of making money online. Grab a pen and some paper because by the end of this video, it'll be time for you to stop binging YouTube and start taking action on building your dream life through e-commerce. The first thing that we need to do is head over to shopify.com and start setting up our store, which by the way, I'll have the link in the description if you guys want it for $1 per month for the next three months. I'm just gonna go over here and click start free trial. And then it's gonna prompt you with all of these different questions. Honestly, you can just skip all of these for now. And then you have to set up the country that you're located in. I'm currently in Turkey, obviously, which is why it's popped up that way, but I'm gonna select to my home country, Canada. And there, you're gonna click continue with email. Go ahead and put in your email and password. And boom, just like that, you're gonna land on this page with your three day free trial. And then like I said, if you use the link, you'll be billed $1 per month over the next three months. So just to get you guys up to speed here, this is the homepage where Shopify is basically gonna give you a bunch of recommendations on how to start selling. Don't really need to use this too much. If you go over to the orders tab, this is where all of your orders will start showing. Once you start making sales, you can have draft orders, shipping labels, abandoned checkouts will also be shown here, etc. Now this tab is where your products will be. So when you start importing your first products to your store, you'll see them all under this dashboard. You can have different collections of products. You can track your inventory, your purchase orders, transfers, gift cards, so on and so forth. And this is where your customer assets will be. So, you know, the lists of your emails, your SMSs, etc. And you can obviously segment different customer lists as well. And then over here is where all your content will be. So images, video files, everything that you need. And this is the analytics dashboard you guys have probably seen everywhere all over TikTok, YouTube with people flexing their revenue results. And there is some decent analytics that you do need to look at on Shopify alone. So keep this tab in mind for later. Later. Then you have a marketing channel where you can go ahead and connect in all the different sales channels you'll be using to actually funnel traffic to your store, discount codes, and then the actual online storefront itself which includes the themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, preferences. We'll be coming back to customize this pretty shortly. Now comes the fun part. We're ready to go ahead and select our first product ever. When it comes to selecting your first product, the criteria that is most commonly abided by is number one, is it a problem solving product or does it solve a particular pain point in somebody's life? And number two, is the product unique and does it have some form of a wow factor to it? But perhaps the most important component, I think when it comes to a winning product is, is is that product able to evoke emotion in the customer? And is it able to be uniquely advertised in a way that nobody has ever seen before? Now we'll hold that thought in mind for later down the road when we do get into the marketing section. But basically here, we're not looking to reinvent the wheel. In fact, we're looking for products that we know have proof of concept and are already selling well. And then we're simply taking that product and marketing it with a different angle, a completely different approach to hit a new market and hopefully become the number one seller of that product. Now, when it comes to finding our product, so many different methods that you can use, but the most affordable and in fact, the best method is just simply using TikTok. To do this, you wanna set up a burner account on TikTok, as in not the account you're already using for whatever it is that you're watching on your feed, but another account that you can optimize to only show you winning dropshipping products. And the way to do this is once you start scrolling your feed on your new account, you stop when you see an advertisement of a product. Then you simply go to the landing page, go through the checkout process as if you're a buyer who's gonna purchase that product, but of course you don't actually take the final step and make the purchase. Now what happens when you go through all these steps is TikTok is gonna categorize you as having purchase intent, which basically means that they're gonna start serving you up so many more dropshipping ads on your feed. Once you've found a product advertisement that has a high amount of engagement, for example, 100,000 views, and then I like to look for at least 10% of that converting into likes, which would be 10,000 likes, then it's simple. From there, you wanna go to the website, see who's selling the product, and then figure out what kind of numbers they're actually pulling with that product to make sure that there's proof of concept. Now, the easiest way to do this for free is to go to the TikTok Creative Center and find people who are actually running ads on that product or the Facebook ad library if you can find the particular product. But if you do have a few extra bucks laying around, then the best way, in my opinion, is to use this tool called Shop Hunter, which basically allows you to paste the website that's selling the product and it'll instantly come up and show you exactly how much money that company is making with that product. It's absolutely wild, but it gives you so much insight 
better access and analytics and data so that you can determine that yes, indeed, this product does have demand, it has proof of concept, and I'm gonna go ahead and start selling it, and in fact, do so better than my competition. All right, so now that we have some products in mind, we need to hop back onto our Shopify store. If you go to the bottom down here where it says add apps, you wanna click this, head over to the Shopify app store, and then search for Deezers or DSers. Now, if you've heard of Oberlo in the past, this is basically like an enhanced or upgraded version of Oberlo that basically allows you to add any product to your store in a matter of one click. We're just gonna go ahead here and click install. It's gonna prompt you to log in with your existing store. Go ahead and click install app. And here, you're just gonna click create an account for you. And here's where it's gonna prompt you to pay for different kinds of plans. And in my opinion, when starting out, all you need is the basic free plan. And then it's gonna take you to this page right here, and it's gonna allow you to link up with your suppliers. In the beginning, you're just gonna start with AliExpress, but I'll explain later, take care of fulfillment. Then just scroll down and hit authorize. And from here, you'll automatically be taken over to your Deezer's dashboard. Now Deezer's aims to be an all-in-one automation tool that can help you with everything from finding products, finding suppliers, optimizing your suppliers to ensure you're getting the best shipping rates, the best price points, and so on and so forth. So it is an extremely valuable tool that you can leverage along your journey. But the main purpose of using it right now is to get the product that we found in the previous step and simply import it to our store in less than two clicks. Now using the method from earlier, this is the product that I found and here's it. Here's it on AliExpress, listed for about $26 Canadian. It's a temperature and time displaying USB desktop fan. It can sit on your desk, in your office, and there's so many different use cases for it. As you can see, the supplier has a bunch of different copy images and so on and so forth that we can use. So literally all you have to do is go ahead up to the search bar, copy this, head over back to Deezers, and then paste this in the import list and hit okay. And as you can see, the product's gonna pop up here like so, and all you have to do is go ahead and click push to store. And now if we go back over to our Shopify tab and we go to the product section, you should be able to see, boom, right here, the product has been added to the store in pretty much one click. So if we go ahead and click into this, this is how we can actually start customizing the product page to make it look appealing for our customers. Right off the bat, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's just not going right here. I mean, it's literally gone ahead and imported everything over from AliExpress, but I'm not a huge fan of the titles or even the way that they laid out the copywriting as well as the images on the AliExpress product page. So let's start with the title and let's rename this to something sweet, short, and concise. Three-in-one RGB fan. Now down here, this is your product description. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'll leave a couple of key images that showcases the product, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all of the extra and unnecessary wording. We're not necessarily looking to show our customers the exact specifications of the product as I don't feel that's super necessary. Rather, we wanna sell the desired result or the benefit or outcome that the customer will receive when they actually have your product. Just delete all of this and then I'm gonna quickly cook something up here. I'm also gonna be thinking about different marketing angles that I could sell this product with. And one of them that I thought right off the top of my head, because this fan has so many different features packed into it, instead of just listing out specifications and the features, I'm gonna show the benefit that the person will get from buying it. And that here is declutter your entire workspace. This is because instead of that person having a fan, a clock, a temperature monitor, all these different things, they get it in one piece of equipment that can sit on their desk. And again here, instead of just saying that this clock will read the temperature of the room, we wanna specify even further and look at the benefit. So the benefit of the clock reading the temperature would simply be the fact that the person will always know that the room is at the right temperature in order for them to perform optimally. And in this case, because we're advertising it to people who maybe have a home workstation, office, or something of that nature, I'm just gonna go ahead and write something like this. And then boom, we hit them with another image on the desk and actually showing the product, you know, functioning and in use. And then down here, maybe towards the bottom of your product page, you can get a little bit more specific with the features, but generally at the top, you always wanna be selling the benefit and the result rather than the technicalities. 
But boom, just like that, we already have a somewhat viable product page. And then if we scroll down further, this is where we can actually start adjusting the price point. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up at least two times, which gives us a $20 uh, gross profit margin for every single purchase. Mark it up to $39.99. Now, when it comes to offers, offers are always something that you wanna be split testing moving forward. In the beginning, I'm, yes, I'm gonna go with the classic drop shipping offer, the 50% off. This is because it's still a solid offer to test. I don't recommend sticking with this forever, but also with a product like this, I don't really foresee somebody needing to buy more than one at one point in time. You know, a lot of other great offers include buy one, get one free, buy one, get two free. You can play around with different discounts. You can add different things into your offers, such as, you know, a book or a handbook or some form of guide that you can get from the PLR store for a couple of dollars and then repurpose as many times as you want on your store when you sell your product. But in this particular case, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the compare app price to 2X the price of the product. Therefore, when they land on the landing page, they'll see that they're getting a 50% discount. Just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And if I go back, everything is pretty much set up and good to go with your product here. Now, before we actually go over to start customizing the website itself and making it look pretty, we actually have to do a couple more things. And that's right down here in the online store section. First and foremost, when it comes to themes, which is basically the overall look and feel, the template that your online store sits upon, the initial free themes that Shopify provides, such as Dawn, are always a good bet and can get you started pretty much right away. But I would recommend over time looking into some paid themes, such as the Impulse, that's one of my favorites, or even going out of your way to download the Debutify theme from their website and then uploading it to Shopify itself. And that theme is completely free and one that I used many, many times when I was starting out. Now, if we head over to the navigation tab right here, you need to clean up a couple of menus before you head over and start customizing your store. But firstly, you'll notice that it says here, your online store is password protected. If we go ahead and remove this, that means that essentially anyone can now go live and actually see my website if I were to give them the URL. In order to do so though, it's gonna prompt me to select my plan. And as you can see, if you use the link in the description, you'll get $1 for your first three months and your first three days will actually be entirely free. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the basic plan right here. And just like that, we're all set up. So if we go back over to the online store tab, we head over to navigation. You'll be able to see that when you click remove password, you can simply uncheck this box right here and hit save. Now back on the navigation tab, you'll notice you have a couple different menus. The main menu is the menu at the top of your website that includes things such as your homepage, your contact page, your track my order page, your product page, and so on and so forth. So that's the first and most important menu that we wanna actually click on and start customizing. From here, you wanna go ahead and delete the catalog page if you are building out a one product store and we'll touch on that a little bit more later. And then you wanna go ahead and add a menu item and name it pretty much the name of your product. So for example, in this case, it's three in one RGB fan and then search link, go ahead and click products and then you're gonna find your product right here and go ahead and click add. So that's gonna allow your customers when they're navigating your menu to easily go back to your product page. And then obviously you have the home page, which brings them to the home page of the website. And then the contact page is also super important in the beginning. And then the last menu item that I usually like to add on here is a track my order page. So the way to do that is to go ahead and click on the pages tab, which is just above the navigation tab. And then you can come here, simply click add page, go ahead and type in track my order. And the easiest thing to do with this page is head over to this website called 17 track, which is basically an all in one package tracking tool. And you can simply go ahead and copy and paste this link into that page. Now there are more advanced apps that I recommend such as one, two, three track. But like I said, in the beginning, this is all you need and it's gonna be sufficient for your customers to go ahead and start tracking their package, regardless of pretty much anywhere in the world that you might be selling. Now going back to the page here, you might wanna write something as simple as our business hours are between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. PST. Please expect a response within one to two business days. And then you can drop a support email in here. And then below you can say something like, for urgent package tracking needs, please visit the link below and then simply drop that link. And that's gonna go ahead and do a lot in a matter of seconds for your customer experience and ensuring 
that they can actually go ahead and start tracking their package. Now heading back over to the pages, the next thing we wanna do is make sure that the Contact Us page is set up correctly. And just make sure that when it says theme template over here, it's actually set to the contact. And I'll show you how that looks when we get over there. So now if we go back and we click on online store, we can just go down here and hit customize and it's gonna take us straight to the storefront. So this is our homepage, not a whole lot going on here, but as you can see, we've kind of done a lot of the important stuff already. If we click on the menu where it says three in one RGB fan, it'll take us to our product page. And just like that, you guys can already see, you know, the product descriptions that I wrote in, the images that are here. You can flip between the images that were automatically added and you can see the title here, the price, the uh, compare at price, which is now slashed out, you know, the variance color black, the quantity selector, the add to cart button, the buy it now button. Basically everything that somebody would need to go ahead and make a purchase on your store. Now, if I go ahead and click on the contact page right here, you guys can see name, email, phone number, and comments. And then if a customer hits send, it actually gets sent over to your inbox that is associated with the store. Super easy, super simple. As long as you set that up correctly with the templates, then you're good to go. And actually, I just forgot one thing. So if we leave out of here for now, and we go back over to uh, the navigation section, we can go ahead and add the track my order page into the main menu, just like so. Name it track my order, and then go to pages, because remember we previously created the track my order page, and then you're gonna go ahead and click add save the menu and then go back to online store and customize. And just like that, you guys can see the track my order page has appeared at the top on the menu right there. And all the information that we put in is just like so. All right, so when it comes to actually building and designing your store, everybody thinks that this is an extremely important step, but it's actually not. Okay, so your most important parts of dropshipping is actually your product selection and your marketing. For example, nobody is really gonna be scrolling around on your homepage too much, so you don't need to spend hours and hours. And I see so many beginners, you know, falling into the same trap of spending weeks, you know, stuck in a state of analysis paralysis because they're always, you know, worried about every little minor detail on their store that they never just go live and start testing. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. So I want you guys to literally speed through the process of building your store to at least a decent enough point for an initial product test as quickly as possible. And look, it's 2024. I get that the Shopify builder is easier than ever. And you know, it's so easy to just simply grab any text box over here from the side, put it in, grab any images over here, put it in, feature products and so on and so forth. Change the banners with a single click, change the buttons with a single click. Like look, it's super simple and super seamless. Shopify has done an excellent job with their website builder. But if you wanna go that one step further and have things done for you in a matter of minutes, I would recommend leveraging artificial intelligence to help you build your store. I actually have a link below in the description. It's completely free and it'll be the first link down there. It's an AI software that'll basically build you an entire Shopify store from scratch in less than 10 minutes. It's absolutely wild and you should be leveraging this tool, especially when you're trying to rapid test products and find your first success. Now there are a couple non-negotiable items that you need to have on your Shopify store to ensure you'll have success right out the gate. And the first one being, you need to add reviews right away. Statistically, 90% of customers who land on your website are gonna look at at least one review before they actually go ahead and give you their hard-earned dollar. They're crucial for adding both social proof and credibility, and without them, your conversion rates are gonna be drastically lower. So the best tools that I like to use are A Reviews or Judge.me. Using these tools, you can literally import reviews from AliExpress or other places in one click, toggle all kinds of different metrics, edit the reviews to your liking, and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time breaking this down because each one of these apps, once you install them onto your Shopify, will prompt you with a step-by-step -step walkthrough guide that is brain dead simple to follow, and you're gonna come out with some amazing reviews on your storefront. Now the next app that's super important to set up on your store is Klaviyo. It's probably the easiest email marketing and SMS software to set up. And with one click, you can install it on your Shopify store as an app and then walk through the simple tutorial to start setting up different kinds of flows. Now these email flows are gonna be super important for your success because they're gonna make sure that you maximize on every single visitor that's coming to your website. So whether it's an abandoned cart flow, which means that when somebody abandons their cart, the email is gonna follow up 
up with them and ensure that they come back and make their purchase or whether it's a post-purchase upsell encouraging them to go ahead and make another purchase later on by offering them a discount which will bring you an increase in average order value on top of that we have reconvert now reconvert single-handedly has made me you know upwards of six figures in the past three four years of being in e-commerce and reconvert is an amazing app that you can go ahead and install on shopify and within minutes you'll be able to set up post-purchase conversion flows that ensure that the customer is taken along a good journey after they've made their first purchase with you and encourages them to further come back become a loyal customer and buy product from you especially with all kinds of different discounts and things that you can hit them with and the next most important one is vitals so vitals is basically a 40 in one tool that gives you access to so many different little things these things include urgency tactics scarcity tactics pop-up wheels shiny add to cart sticky add to cart it can make all sorts of different movements on your site you can add different favicons and customize in ways that you just couldn't with the basic shopify builder now i'll be honest this isn't a tool that you should mess around with too much in the very beginning because when you first start launching your store the most important thing is that you're getting your customers in the door and you're moving as much friction as possible so that you can actually have that person go from point a to point b which is making that purchase but vitals does have some crucial things it has some speed optimizers. It has a one-click checkout, accelerated checkouts, and all different kinds of things that you can split test for maximum success and profit. Now, I know that was a lot of info coming at you guys at once, but don't worry because this video is sectioned off into chapters, so you can always go back and re-listen to an individual chapter. But now we're gonna be transferring into the marketing aspect of the store, which in my opinion, like I said, is the most important thing that's gonna determine whether or not you're gonna have success with dropshipping. So listen closely. But first, crack a beer, take a break, and give yourself a pat on the back because you have already made it farther just by getting to this point of this video than 99% of people will. I guarantee you at least 60% of people who started watching this video have clicked off by now, and I guarantee you a lot more people will not actually follow through with taking these steps when the video is over. So congratulate yourself. Like I said, kick back, relax, and get ready for this next module. All right, so now that we've got the product picked out, the store built out, let's talk about getting eyes on all of the hard work that you've done. There's two methods of advertising. Basically, you have organic advertising, in other words, leveraging social media and not spending any money to do so. And on the other hand, you have paid advertising, which is also leveraging social media, but you're actually paying for your views and impressions. Paid marketing is probably what you've seen a lot of dropshippers in this space or just people in general talking about online in terms of making money with their brands. And usually this is in the form of Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, and so on and so forth. While these methods are viable, they're definitely not the most optimal way about going about things in 2024 and beyond, especially if you're a complete beginner and do not have a lot of money to work with. Right now is literally the best time to be leveraging short form platforms with organic marketing. Look, I wish I had this opportunity when I first started four years ago because I remember I was hustling, working two part-time jobs to be able to take all that money every single week and test out different ad creatives on paid platforms in order to make my first sale. But now all of those barriers have been removed. You literally need $1 a month for Shopify. And like I said, everything else is free trials, free, or even the marketing itself and actually making your sales won't cost you a dime. And going back to the product research section of the video, I'm sure you've seen lots of viral videos by now on TikTok and maybe even on Facebook in terms of products that are trending. And if you can see where I'm going with this, we're basically gonna be doing the exact same thing that is working for these other people, but even better. Now listen closely because I'm gonna give you the viral organic strategy exactly that has worked for me time and time again. So once you have obviously your logo, your brand name, your product, and your website, now this step is not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. There are work Rounds if you're unable to for whatever reason. But once you found your product, you should go over to Amazon and order it as quickly as possible to your house. This is so you can start filming creative content with it, not only for the websites, but for most importantly, the marketing. The next thing that you wanna do is create a TikTok page around your brand. From there, you wanna go out, you wanna shoot all different kinds of video ads with your product. Now there is a viral framework that I want you to follow closely for your advertising. And this is the ADA framework. It starts with attention, so optimizing the hook to gain attention. And the hook is essentially the first three to five seconds or the most important part of the video. The next step is interest. So you want to make sure that the video is interesting enough that it's going to have people sustain the full way through or actually get to know your product and see what it is that you're offering. 
Next we have Desire. So this is a very powerful one that you can play on in so many different creative ways, but you basically have to express to your potential customers what it is that they want. That particular pain point that you can solve for them or that result that you can bring them with your product. And lastly, we need to have action. We need to have steps in place that lead your customer down the desired funnel, which is obviously sending them to your website and then having them go through the checkout process and make a purchase. And then you wanna start releasing them two to three times per day for at least one month. I think one month is a fair amount of time to really see if you have something with this product. The key here is that you need to be switching the marketing angle every couple of days. And remember back in product research when I was saying the most important thing is actually your marketing angle and not the product itself? Well, here's where you have creative freedom to test different marketing angles. And in fact, every two to three days, you should be switching your marketing angle with your organic content if your existing videos are not getting any kinds of views or traction to your website. Now remember, the best kind of video ads that you can make using the framework are video ads that drive some serious desire, are video ads that evoke serious emotion with your customer. This is why beauty products with before and after transformations or fitness products with before and after transformations always sell extremely well because people are able to literally see their desired result. Let's say they're fat and they want to get a six pack and you know your product's going to make them a lot slimmer. In that video ad, you can convey to them the future self that they could be and they're going to get stimulated. They're going to feel that dopamine rush before it's even happened and they're gonna feel compelled to go over to your website and speed through your checkout process as fast as possible. So that's literally it. If you give it one month and you post two to three videos a day, switching the marketing angle every three days and striving to make the best creatives possible by leveraging and using inspiration from the other people who are killing it with the same product, I can almost guarantee you that you'll at least get some initial traction in the door and you'll have a lot better of an idea at the end of that month if you really have something you can scale up or if you might need to pay it or try another product or market. Now the next part of this video leads me into scaling your store, which basically means you have a solid foundation and you're starting to make some sales. So from here, how can you go from a few sales a day or a couple hundred bucks a day to hitting multiple hundred thousand dollar months? And you can do this in a number of ways. If you've gone the organic route, like I said, you can increase your content production by hiring agencies, by working with UGC creators, by investing more of the money that you're making into creating so much more content that you can blast out. You can also do this with an affiliate system by leveraging an app such as Social Snowball, which basically means that you can encourage every single customer to become an affiliate for your brand. Not only will they get to make some extra side money if they're creating content with the product themselves, that'll also drive a lot more traffic to your store, a lot more people purchasing, and a lot more people who could potentially join the affiliate system, which that system is then going to grow exponentially and bring you more money without lifting a finger. Now, this is also the stage where you should be thinking about transitioning from dropshipping to a full-fledged e-commerce brand. And one of the easiest ways to go about this is by upgrading your supplier. So you should no longer be working with, you know, AliExpress if you started out that way, but you should be ensuring that you have high quality products with a reliable supplier inside of a warehouse of the country that you're actually selling to. So there's a lot of great 3PL services or fulfillment services that'll handle all of this, such as Commersive or Zendrop, but you should also be speaking to manufacturers and reaching out to people on websites like Alibaba and Made in China to see if there are better deals out there and if these people can fulfill the needs of your customers on a greater scale. You should also be talking with your suppliers and seeing if you can get white labeling, custom packaging, logos on your products, potentially even iterating your products or expanding on your product line later down the line as well. And here's where you can really start reinvesting all the money that you're making into doubling down and building that branded community feel. Maybe you're putting more effort in hiring a social media manager. Maybe you're starting to make other key hires like virtual assistants to help you manage order fulfillment and other things within the business. But at this point, you're in a very good position and it'll only be a matter of time before you scale your brand up even further. And boom, just like that, that's practically everything you need to know about starting dropshipping successfully in 2024. Make sure you take all of the information in this video, go back and rewatch chapters if you have to and actually apply it. Because like I said, 99% of people won't. And if you think this business model is too competitive, dead or saturated, then like I said, you're thinking like the 99%. There's literally so much money out out there and it's never been a better time to start. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my free program, which basically covers everything I talked about in this video, but 10 times more in detail. So I'll leave that in the first link down below in the description for you as well. And as always, love you guys. I'll see you in a few days. Peace out.